to you, George. Time can sometimes change us and make us forget who we really are. And at the age of 36, I still hear you say, when I grow up, I'll go back to our house in Nairobi and live there. Don't grow up, George, because you're perfect, because perfection depends on one's perception. You're not weird, you're just differently wired, dear George. Achievements aren't measured in scores and grades. You are an achiever. Whenever I perform this piece, I take my watch out, watch off, because at least in my head, time has stopped. This piece is called Dear George. Dear George, I know I'm far away, but not a day goes by when I don't think about you. You see, some memories become experiences that help us evolve each day. Like the memory of that time in 97 when I dropped that burning rook from our chest set on your finger. You cried in pain only to be pacified by the assurance that Darden will take you to the market. You had such innocent and simple demands, dear George. Uniqueness is the ability of being comfortable in one's own skin, and this I feel you've got expertise in. You are always unique. Taking your own time to discover as kids around seem to zoom past to higher classes while they assumed you were slow. I'm glad you didn't tell them your love for those tiny wooden benches and nursery rhymes. Bird brains, they'd never get it. Dear George, Adaptability is a quality that not everyone possesses, and you, for me, are the epitome of adaptability. I mean, for 17 years, you adapted to our systems, to our ways, to our understanding, to our society. And at the age of 17, the diagnosis of you being on the autism spectrum was just added proof that you're special, even though the questions never stopped. Why does your elder brother stand on the roof for hours and hours? Why does he play with wooden blocks and pretty flowers? Why does he not read and write? Why does he not go to school? Why does he cry when the rearrangement of his things aren't right? Why does he collect coins? Rearrange them according to dates and recount them 15 times just to make sure each time they add up to 1,555. Dear George, distances teach us to cherish what we have and sometimes we get past days only with the help of memories. I look at the fan that's there here in my flat in Mumbai that doesn't work and I realize how your love for wires and tools made you quite a handyman. From setting the pump right, to fixing leaking taps, to fixing the gaps in the family, you still keep us together. It's weird, you're just differently wired, dear George. Achievements aren't measured in scores and grades. You are an achiever. I fondly recall the first day you traveled across Delhi in that metro unassisted. And though I was miles away, the sheer emotion in Johnny's tone spoke more than the words he used. I know this world defines accomplishments in items on a checklist. You tick them off over and over again before they tick you off. But that day I realized how dedicated efforts coupled with a little bit of faith can lead one on through darkness and crowds, dear George. Hope is a beautiful thing. Sometimes unknowingly, we end up touching lives of those around us. 3rd April, 2017, the National Conference on Autism. I watched you read out loud. I watched you read out loud about your job, about your life, about your perseverance, and I cried. I cried because you'd proved to the world that you're a warrior, unique and special, challenging norms and breaking stereotypes, one step at a time, one day at a time, dear George. Thank you for who you are. You make me a better person. George, how was your day? How many boxes did you make at work? Did you make it to that bus in time? George, you know, there's so much I want to say and in turn so much I want to hear from you. But I guess I'll hold on to these questions and wait for these answers till the next time we meet. Dear George, I love you. Thank you so much. For more amazing videos such as this, please like, share, and subscribe to Commune on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I would also like to thank Action for Autism and everybody else who's been associated with George in his journey. I wish you all a very happy World Autism Awareness Day. Together, let's build a more inclusive society.